I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment out here in Currents, Texas, and today we're doing tractor tug of war. On this side, we've got the Massey Ferguson 4710 100 horsepower tractor. On this side, we have the 24 horsepower Yanmar SA424. Just kidding. Obviously, these two tractors are not going to be in the same category, but what we are going to do is that I want to know how hard the 424 can pull. So obviously four wheel drive and the range matters that you're in, but we wanna know just how hard this 424 is gonna pull. Uh, so we actually have a scale hooked up between this chain and we're just using the Massey Ferguson as kind of a counterbalance. Um, obviously it's in a whole nother category, but we're gonna use the Massey Ferguson as a counterbalance. We've got a scale hooked up, it's in kilograms, but it's fine for today, we're gonna do metric. Uh, so we're gonna see how hard this tractor is gonna pull. I actually own a tractor. I own the 324, so this is kind of a personal interest to me. So more or less what we're doing is we're doing a high pressure hydrostatic stall test. However, we're not worried about the pressure. What we're think, what we're looking at is how hard does this, does this tractor pull in this environment? So I'm gonna hop on. So we have the, the chain obviously hooked to the 4710 Massey Ferguson uh, to the three point. We, we, we dropped it as low as we could to be parallel so we weren't lifting up on the back of the tractor. Um, and we've hooked to the draw bar on the Yanmar. So what we're trying to do here is simulate how much power am I actually gonna get when I'm pulling a plow, maybe a disc, you know, dragging a log, you know, pulling a box blade. So we wanna know just how much pulling power do I get when I'm, when I'm doing work with this tractor. So I'm gonna hop on, fire it up, let's see what it'll do. I'm gonna run it up to rated RPM to get the most power that we can get. And I'm gonna start off by doing it in high range in four wheel drive. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, that was high range in four wheel drive. Now we're gonna drop it in low range and we're gonna see how much, how much of that power we increase. So I'm gonna put her here in low range and we're gonna get ready to do this pull test again. Run it up to RPM. So keeping in mind that it's, I believe, 2.2 pounds per kilogram, it kind of gives you an idea of just how much more power you get in low range. And obviously being in four wheel drive is gonna prevent us from slipping. Uh, so it was kind of interesting to me that we, we didn't double the pulling power going from high to low, but it's really, really close. And so I thought it was pretty interesting. We're, I think 2.2 pounds by 800, we're, I don't know, 17, 1800 pounds of pull from a 4, 424 EMR tractor is, is quite a bit of static pull for a tractor of this size. So we'll be doing a few more of these tests another dime. We've got some other tractors we wanna line up and see how they compare just to kind of get a baseline of, of, of what is good. I don't know that too many people have done this test. So I thought it was kind of interesting to kind of get a baseline with the Yanmar and we're gonna move on to some other tractors and see what they'll do in the future. Thanks.